Welcome guys to my ever first look at Star Citizen 3.0 uh, This has been so heavily expected I've just been so excited for this to come out and and it's the first look I ever you know I haven't you haven't tested it I, I think I just logged on once to just download the patch uh, but I have not had the time to look at it and you know try to some do some flying or land or whatever but what I've sort of understood for now is that we have we have three planets or moons so we can land on um, so we'll um, the intention of this game now is just to try to do the landing because that's sort of the thing I really wanted to try out so let's get into this um, I know let's see if I can get into yeah with the EU server let's do that but yeah I can already see that since I played before the release the graphics are much sharper uh, I see the suit is looking awesome uh, let's look at the third person view here uh, yeah that's <laughs> close on the back of my head here um, so this is actually looking pretty good um, that's, well I I'm not gonna delay this anymore let's just go for it and I think this is part of the item new item setup that you can click and then use your cursor to select options so it kind of highlights the options or the active menus we can select okay let's go this way and by default I can see that it's actually just walking around so I'll probably have to you know push and shift and it'll run there we go well that's a, that's a smooth transition <laughs> and as you can see already you know uh, my computer is struggling with with low frame rates I'm painfully down at 19 17 I'm barely maybe peaking 20 um, ah, okay here we go we have uh, there we go the Moby glass wow that's new and improved an additional upgrade I see uh, this is actually a lot better than it used to uh, I see that they're added a few more things here uh, okay so your work log Ooh, nice. Okay, I uh, cry astro services so you can refuel stuff like that when you get close to that. Liveworks I am with a five ship port. Oh, well, okay. So I can do that as well. Uh, journal, interesting. Very, very useful information. <gasps> yeah, this is the start. Oh yeah, this is the sort of mini map or star map that you can. Ooh, sweet. Look at that. Okay, so well, we'll be. I got three moons I can select from. I got yellow, I got Daymar, and it should be Celian. Celian, that's probably the last moon I can try. This one. Now I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go for. Um, I probably believe that Daymar is sort of the closest. Actually no, but you know I'll, I'll go for Daymar. Actually, it's the closest because I'm at Port Alisar or Olisar, so I'll I'll just sweep over to Daymar. I think that's much better, um, or closer. Um, okay, what else do we have? Let's go back to the Moby Glass. We have equipment manager. So oh, so here I can do some modifications to my suit and stuff. Okay. Uh. Ship layout, awesome. The cutlass, y yeah, okay. Well, yeah, this is something I, I, you know, I, I have a subscription to Star Citizen, right? So I get the, the smallest one. Uh, so you get sort of flair and stuff like that, and I also get a lot of uh, wreck money or what? I don't know what you would call it. Um, and so I, I yesterday out of I, I wanted to do this video yesterday. But didn't get the time. But before I sort of noticed that I didn't have the time, I did rent a Drake Cutlass. So hold on. Mm. So, but I have a freelancer, and why that's great out, I'm not sure. Uh, but um, ah, oh, okay, I think I know. Because when I played last time, uh, I crashed it, <laughs> and I I don't think I've claimed it back. But yeah, we got two other ships we can use, so we'll do that. Um, and then contact list. Okay, so okay, so this is where I probably I can hail. 
Yeah, okay, so I can hail uh, the ports. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's see if I can find a ship. This is oh, so way cool. Okay, uh, once again with the new menu system and store placeholder. Yeah, as you can see here. You know what? I'll claim it. Yeah, that's gonna take an hour. So let's go back, back in. I've never tried the Drake Cutlass. So let's do that. I've had the freelancer for some while. Thank you. Which one? A7. That would be to my right, I think. That's correct. Okay, let's get out of there. Um, to be honest, I, I've i been hyped for... Well, I've been really excited by a lot of ships in this game and been tempted to buy several ships as well but they are so expensive and yeah I've paid this game in plentiful I think already but anyway um, I had uh, I, s I think I started with you know the typical Aurora package and then when I kind of got tired of the Aurora I actually get quite, quite tired of the Aurora quickly because it's kind of a boring ship. I figured out that I... Whoa. Holy shit, this thing is big. Um, yeah, I wanted to try something else. Something more... I don't know. Oh, man. This is awesome. I thought it was smaller. You know, I've had the Freelancer for a while, and the Freelancer, I, I, I felt the Freelancer was big enough, but holy shit, this is awesome. <laughs> there you go. And you know what? I, I, I might just have to switch over to this ship here. This Okay, one thing I'm kind of, hold on, I, I gotta figure out my key binding. Yeah, so, so the ship I was thinking about was uh, the Constellation Aquila. I really wanted to upgrade, upgrade to that ship. Uh, it is actually pretty mean looking and it's big. And it's it's not that expensive actually. It, it will um, it will take uh, a more man crew. You know, can have more people on board. But, you know, uh, when I'm, I'm probably spending some spaceport space here. So I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to go through this ship m much more thoroughly uh, very soon. Uh, well, well, maybe when we land uh, on the planet. I just want to get in this ship. Okay, so this is obviously a two-pilot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get... Uh, what I understood here, let's see if we can turn this on here. Where's my on switch here? Is there an on switch? Ah, oh, there we go. Flight ready. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Let's go. Ooh. Gear up. Let's change angle. Let's get out of here. And... I'm surprised my frame rates is not well. It's not actually not that laggy. It's even though I'm down at 17, 16 like that, uh, and I've sort of really ramped down my graphics as well. Wow, this okay. I got a good, just quick little. And this thing has. Uh, I have to look into those turrets on the side. I think you can get into those. I, I think I'm not sure. Um. Uh, well, are they turrets? Okay. Well, I I gotta tell you that I like the freelancer. I really like the freelancer, but it's I, I, the there is only hangar ready. Not even that. I think it's actually the hangar ready one is no good. Um, it's not sort of what it's supposed to be. 
Uh, so you get sort of the stock freelancer. Um, and it's kind of sad, you know, because I've had that chip for so long and I have nothing else to be excited about right now because I, I, I don't have the final product. But this, I know this is finished. I think actually the black, uh, the colorless black is actually done. So uh, <laughs> it's flight, I think it's flight ready. So, and it looks flight ready. So I, I might just upgrade it. And I think actually the, it costs the same. I think it's like $125 um, and the freelancer has I think it's 125 as well so I can just you know trade him in okay well um, enough chit chat let's get going so first we need to go for some navigation here so obviously we have that in the mobile glass we wanted to go to Daymar and I'm kind of struggling with the scene what's going on here but yeah we'll probably fix that the contrast so I've set the destination um, I expect that the controls are sort of similar as before, so I'll turn towards Daymar, and then I use my B button to do my hydro jump, and quantum, yeah, the quantum drive, sorry about that. And yeah, okay, this is new as well, new warp or hyperdrive animation. It's looking really good, and whoa, that's shaky. Thank you. Okay, let's get. Thank you. And do we have anywhere special? Dunlow Ridge Emergency Shelter. So we have one shelter there. We have Tam, Tam Don Plain Emergency Shelter. What is the other one? Uh, Arc Corp Mining Area. Bountiful Harvest, Hydrophonics, Kundra Ore, uh, Wolf Point Emergency, yeah, it's a, so all of these are like emergency shelters, Mining Facility, okay, so this actually is looking a lot better, so let's go for a Mining Facility, mm, and see where we can head, oh, shit, sorry, <laughs> uh, 220, is that the speed I want to be running on right now? Uh, this is going to be really slow, so I'm just going to ramp up the speed here. And I hope I don't black out. Let's see how fast this thing can go. I know the free answer stops at 700, I think. This is already going past that. We're at 1,000. Holy. Are you serious? That's quick. Okay, well, I'm I'm sold. I'm gonna buy this ship. I'm gonna change it to this ship. Um, I know that probably cargo hold, cargo hold is not that big, but this is already sold me. And uh, what the hell is that? Is sort of the intake. Yeah, that's the intake. And yeah, okay. Well, uh, when we land, we'll get back into that. Uh, ship review and looking that in, into sort of what we have there first thing we're gonna land and, and and see how that works okay so I'm gonna fast forward this I think I just fast forward this until I get to the atmosphere and and from there we can get back to my chatty self and commenting everything I see and trying to keep my you know myself calm here because it's <laughs> way so cool <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're coming in hot. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. And we're, yeah, we're past the atmosphere and we're in. And, well, it looks like we're, <clears throat> we're like on the dark side of the planet. So that's going to be our interesting. I, I don't see anything here. So we'll slow down a little bit correct ourselves towards the horizon we're actually pretty we're going actually pretty fast down here so we, we have safe speed is at 300 whoa 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 calm down calm down calm down okay now I know what they mean with safe speed <laughs> that was scary <laughs> Jesus and yeah, we're actually not very far off from the ground here, so we're gonna slow down a little bit. Uh, 
and we're leveled. Wow. Now that is a screenshot, man. I gotta do one. Hold on. Screenshot done. Okay, well, let's find this uh, outpost that we were talking about. I'm pretty, actually, f not very far off from the ground here, so I, I gotta go up a little bit. I don't want to hit a mountain top or something like that. You know what? I, I wh where's the where's my night vision? <clears throat> I think actually I caught some damage. I can see on my right there. You see that it's actually badly red. Um, so this actually could have gone really wrong here. Um, the shelter is like two hundred and now that's not right. Where's the other shelter? There should be a shelter somewhere here. Ah, uh, okay, here we go. But that's on the other side of the planet. Am I not getting this right? Harvest hydroponics. So which one is the closest then? This is looking mean. Look at that. Whew. <laughs> uh, am I back to flight controls? Yeah, I am. And I have this Xbox controller I can use to fly, but I... I Honestly, don't remember the key bindings or what I have to do to fly that thing with 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 my Xbox. Oh, whoa! I'm really really close to the ground here. Forty. Whoa! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Yeah, I'm barely you know scratching the ground here, so I think I, I'll gain some attitude. I, I don't want to you know have to do all of this again because I was stupid not being able to fly during the night. You got to read your instruments, man. Okay, I think it's sufficient altitude, 700, let's level, where's my level point here, horizon, right there, uh, a little bit up, come on, just give me a smudge, just a smudge, I don't want to be falling way too fast, there we go, ah, oh, there we go, perfect. Now, to be honest, I really don't know if I'm flying towards the mining facility, but I'm I'm seeing some light down there. Do you guys see that? I'm seeing something there. So I'm gonna go towards that. Oh, that's too fast. Get up. This is looking mean. Look at that. Whew. <laughs> uh, am I back to flight controls? Yeah, I am. And I have this Xbox controller I can use to fly, but I, I honestly don't remember the key bindings or what I have to do to fly that thing with with, with my Xbox. Oh, whoa, I'm really, really close to ground here. 40, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm barely, you know, scratching the ground here. So I think I, I'll gain some attitude. I don't want to, you know, have to do all of this again because I was stupid not being able to fly during the night. You gotta read your instruments, man. Okay, I think it's sufficient altitude, 700. Let's level, where's my level point here? Horizon, right there. Uh, a little bit up, come on. Just give me a smudge. Just a smudge, I don't wanna be falling way too fast. There we go, ah, oh, there we go, perfect. Now, to be honest, I really don't know if I'm flying towards the mining facility, but I'm I'm seeing some light down there. Do you guys see that? I'm seeing something there, so I'm gonna go towards that. Oh, that's too fast! Get up!
So I'm well. I'm slowly gonna approach that. I'm seeing the sunlight coming through the horizon over there now, so it shouldn't be that far before I can. Because I'm probably not gonna see squat when I get to. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on? What's going on? Slow down. Man, this is scary, man, when you fly during the night. What is that? Is that a bug in the game? Or it looks like there's something there, but... Wow, I'm really close to ground now. I can see the hills just <laughs> whooshing by me here. Yeah, I think that's actually something else. Could it be me? I don't know. But look at these canyons, man. You're, you're sort of now getting the the outlining or sort of just thrust her up a little bit yeah and, and as you can see it's sort of rending the terrain while I'm flying I'm just gonna do oh so cool bro so cool whoa that's close to the ground change angle there we go I think that's a lot safer going up a little bit that's a really low flyby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we're getting some light here. So oh, there's the sun coming up. Okay. I need a new screenshot. Hold on. Give me a second. There we go. Perfect. And we're going fast. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of options here. So I think I'm just going to land somewhere. Let's go back to this view. Cockpit. Scroll a little bit down. And we're like a hundred something kilometers away from that shelter, so we're we're gonna skip it and we're gonna go straight for a landing and I think we got lucky we have a crater right here. Uh, so let's do that. But hold on. There's this nice ridge right there, so let's go down to this. Going down, put on landing gear. Yeah, landing gear has been deployed. Slowly going down. I love the sound of the thrusters, man. This okay, let's have a look. Where are we landing? Is it flat enough? Well, let's go a little forth here. Let's go over this over here. No, don't tilt this way. That looks fine. Okay. Oh, good there. Slowly going down. I don't want to break up my gear somewhere here. Landing gear is no good if you break it. Slowly. Slowly going down. Oh, we got particles going blown off. There we go. Attention to detail. And I think we got touchdown. We have touchdown. Okay, okay, cool, okay. Um let's shut this baby off. Uh F power off. Yeah, and that's when everything just falls apart like that. H to get off the cockpit or the seat. I kinda like it that you, when you get into the seat it raises you up. And we have moon, or yeah, I don't know what that is. Which one is that? Yeah, that's gonna be Crusader. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, well, before I go out, let's just have one more look through this ship. So we have some Drake implants here. What is this sort of emergency kit set? I don't know. Um, emergency supplies, we have storage compartments, and really exposed stuff here. Isolation, some cable channels on the top there two bunks and what else we have here 
Oh, that's for the turret. Okay. Um, blockers, most likely. More storage. Some cable sticking out. Uh, how about we do uh, the turret? I want to have a look at how that is. So seat comes down, and up we go. Oh, okay, that's not that abrupt. Okay. And we're in. And if I switch this mode, there we go. So if I do that, it should turn. Yeah, okay, it's not gonna turn. It's still gonna. Ooh. Now we're talking about screenshot. It's it's posing. It's posing. Here we go. Screenshot done. Can I zoom out? No, it's not that well zoomed out. So cool. <laughs> Ooh, somebody's looking mad and badass right there. Hello. Let's do that screenshot too. And I, I love the angry face on the both sides. Look at that. Look at that. You see that little thing on the side there? I have no idea what is that. It's gonna be the engine side. There's nothing else we can do there. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get off this turret. And we're out. Mm -hmm. Let's go see the rest of the ship. So, there, well, there isn't much to see. We have the cargo hold. We can open these doors. Where's my open door thing? Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Open. There we go. So we have cargo doors we can, you know, open so we can fill in with stuff. Uh, we have some nice, comfortable seating area in the back. And our, you know, back door for unloading and loading. And, well, I think that's it. Because the engine is supposed to be mounted on this part here. So there is no way to get in there. But it, it's really sad, though, because it looks like there's actually something you can get into. Um, let's open this again. I want to give it a nice open door feeling here. Turn off my flashlight. And, you know, this ship is actually looking pretty awesome. It's wide, and it's bulky, and it's ridiculously cool. And, I've, yeah, okay, well, I, I'll have to try the Freelancer and get out here, but, you know, I've had the Freelancer for so long that I'm, I think, I, you know, I just got tired of it, so. You know what? It's not about the ship anymore. Well, it's always about the ships because they're really cool. But now we're here to explore. We're on some sort of nowhere place of this planet, Daymar. And we're looking down on this huge canyon down here. And this is just like a tiny portion of this planet. And what I understood is that I think these based on the three moons that we have access, or access to now is that this planet itself is like 400 or something kilometers across um, so there is a lot of you know there's a lot of space to explore and you know God knows what they're gonna put into those empty spaces and place is probably just gonna be really abandoned Ooh, we got some red plants over here <laughs> Man, I remember looking at the uh, watching the demo for like a year back, uh, where you had this guy walking around the planet and you know really excited about that, and here we are right now. You know, patience is you know totally worth it. Just waiting here for this game to get better and better, and and wow, look at these. Look like you know. What does it call it? Jupiter? No, what is it called? Venus Fire... Yeah, Venus Fire Fireflies? Oh, I don't know. Fla 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 I don't know. I just can't remember the name of the plant, but... These do not look safe. I would not stick my finger in there and try to pick it up or something like that. I would not bring these flowers back to my wife. Um, let's see what else we have. What else can we see here? It's in the middle of nowhere, so... Obviously... This is 
you know, I can walk and walk forever. Now, one thing I gotta be careful. Okay, there's my ship, so I can still see it, so that's good. Let's get back to my ship and see if I can do some more flying. Um, maybe I think it'll be a lot easier to just fly up through the atmosphere, back into space, and then down again. Because apparently my speed on the ground is limited to 290, something like that. And 290 and flying that speed towards one of these other outposts, it's going to take like forever. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it a try and see how that works. Um, okay, first thing we're gonna do is get into the ship again. I was stupid enough to jump on the side. Home door. Don't get smushed, that's no good. No need for smushed people. Uh, we're back in, put some flashlights on. Can I do that? No, that's wrong, here we go. Door closed. And I think I can actually shut the doors off from the inside. Can I do that? Let's give it a try. Let's see here. I think I can actually fly from the back here. Can I do that? Can I fly from here? Alright. Is there a power on switch here? Wow, you're really up here, right? This is really tall. Look at that, it's far down. Um, power on. Ship is on. But yeah, I don't think it's gonna be. This has to be the co pilot view or seat. And this has to be sort of the pilot seat, so completely understandable. <clears throat> okay, so first thing we've got to do is turn this thing on, right? So we'll do that. Light ready on. And... Oh! So it actually shut the doors itself. That's cool. Okay, let's get out of here. Gear up. Full thruster, power on. Oh, sorry about that. So it's 149 kilometers to the outpost. Still far. So I'm thinking we'll get up to. Yeah, we, well, hold on. I can fly much faster now without having to flip around so we'll level here and we'll do max speed of 900 apparently we can do that now 600 500 slowing down speed setting to 50% speed slowing down slowing down slowing down Landing gear. Whoa, that's way too much. Landing gear out. Ching ching camera angle. Slowing down. something right yeah I'm probably gonna hit that so. Ooh. Ooh, that's really really crooked We can call that a safe landing. Um, engine off. There we go. 
Let's get out this seat. Uh, open the hatch in the back. <laughs> okay, so we have. Man, I'm still amazed. This actually, this is that big, and uh, it's kind of a shame that you actually can't rent more bigger ships. Uh, I think it's actually one of the bigger ones you can rent. So, but uh, I'll see what else we can do, and, and I'll see if I can rent that as well. So we have this outpost here, and obviously it's a Crusader outpost. It has a huge sign on the front where it says Crusader. <coughs> Really efficient airlock. <coughs> and here we have. Looks like some outpost for. I don't know. Yeah. So here you have your basic needs some tools, uh, med kit, food. Anything you need to sort of survive. That's good. You know, I could totally live here. There's the outpost. So awesome. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I'll leave you to that. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. And leave a like and subscribe. I'm trying to ramp up this gaming channel a little bit. Um, with some few games. Uh, probably more, uh, more sorry, um, Star Citizen. Uh, one game I'm really liking is, of course, Stationeer. Uh, and then I have... A lot of catch up on Astrid as well. So, as you probably hear, I have a really big swat or sort of weak spot for space sims and all that kind of game. And uh, so, well, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.